and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna have to talk very carefully because this little rhinestone, the glue feels like it's gonna come off. So, welcome back to my channel. Um, I did this mermaid slash swamp thing tutorial. I was gonna do a glamorous mermaid, but then I decided that mermaids aren't glamorous. Let's think about that for a minute. They swim in the ocean and probably have ocean crazy hair uh, like this and they probably, yeah, mermaids probably aren't so glamorous. So this is my own little take on it. Um, this is all like netted looking and you'll see why. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see how I achieve this craziness, then just keep watching. Everything I used in this tutorial was straight from my own home or stuff I already had in my makeup collection. So you can do a makeup tutorial um, on any of So first on a very small foundation brush, I am taking the color Too Cool by Maybelline Color Tattoo and I am just putting this on the outsides of my face pretty much, like the perimeter of my face. Now I am using another color tattoo in Seashore Frost. Frosts? Yeah, anyway. And I am putting this pretty much where you would contour your face. This was a limited edition color by the color tattoos, um, but yeah, this was the most mermaid color that I had in my collection. I thought it was really amazing, and now I'm taking it down where you would contour your cheeks in the hollows of your cheeks and blending that out. Now I'm taking the purple and I'm putting it under the eyes to give the mermaid effect. I did the top of my eyes but I really didn't like it so in the next clip you'll see that I fixed it. <laughs> So now you can see that I blended the green and blue together and it gives off such a better effect in my opinion than the other colors I put down did. Now I'm adding a, what is that called, <laughs> a highlighter, <laughs> adding a highlighter over the top of my purple so that it reflects the light a lot better and now I'm taking a really this is actually like a um, pomegranate color, but it looks brown on camera. And I am just carving out the hollows of my cheeks a little bit more. And just to give a little bit of depth to this look, now I'm taking it um, on my temples and on the sides of my face. By layering all these colors, you're going to get a very good dimensional effect. So even if you don't lay some colors down in certain areas, you're still going to get that effect because you have been layering and layering and layering. Now I'm just taking that same color and contouring the nose. Now I am literally cutting up an old loofah um, from the shower, they're like 99 cents or something. And I've taped that on my face and now I'm using Painted Purple from the Color Tattoo line. Surprise, surprise. I have a bunch of these and I figured since I don't have actual face paint that this stuff works just as good. So what I'm doing is I'm just painting the loofah um, over top the loofah and then I'm going to do that wherever I feel needs a little bit more dimension. Now I'm taking the color tattoo Edgy Emerald and I am putting this all over the lips and then I'm going to go back with the painted purple and I'm going to give it an ombre effect so I'm going to put that on the outer edges of my lips 
And then the part that got cut out, unfortunately, I guess it wasn't recording or I lost it or, you know, YouTube problems. But I took some of the Gold Rush color tattoo and I simply put that right in the middle of my lips and in the center of my eyes. Now I'm taking the Gold Rush tattoo again, and I am outlining some of the net just to give it a little more dimension and really make it pop. Um, I really like this color against the purple. It just looked really, really nice and gave it a nice effect. Now again, some of it got cut out. I did my, down my neck with the color tattoos, and then I took literally leaves from my garden and I just glued a few of them on my neck just to give it the look as if I literally just had crawled out of the ocean or swamp or whatever and now I'm taking some duo lash adhesive and that glitter and I am dabbing the glitter over the glue and another part that got cut out is the, I took, I literally made my own ocean spray, and if I say literally again, I am going to freak out, but I took some sea salt and water and mixed it up and I sprayed it all throughout my hair to give that really crazy looking effect. Now I have rhinestones, and this is lash glue as well, but it's not duo, it's a different kind. And I'm taking that right on the back of these rhinestones and I'm gluing them to my head um, just a couple around the eye and I do one on the lip Now I'm taking a little baby sand dollar and I'm gluing that right to my neck if it will stay <laughs> and I wanted my eyes to appear very large and I wanted my face to appear, appear, appear as if it was structured or almost skeletal like because how I picture a mermaid so to make my art my, blah blah to make my eyes appear larger, I'm taking my Jessie's Girl liner I got in my Ipsy bag and I am making a very, very dramatic wing and then I'm taking it on the bottom lash line about halfway just to give that very big, dull, doughy eyed appearance since my eyes are definitely not that. Now I'm drawing lashes on my bottom lash line. And I actually didn't put any mascara on just because I liked the way it looked without it. Um, I don't know, so I just didn't put any on. And I really wanted to enhance the look of lower lashes just to give the big eye effect again. And now we're doing the hair. What I did was I wanted it to be extremely messy because... We're, all mermaids aren't Ariel. <laughs> so, um, and it's Halloween, we gotta put some freaky into it. So I'm putting, I put my hair into a very messy bump, secured it with a flower um, pen that I had made, and now I'm just putting leaves in my hair. Mwah! So that's how I did it, you guys. That's how I got this mermaid swamp creature look. This is actually a real sand dollar glued on there. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will have more tutorials to come, and yeah, I think that's it, except for always, you can follow me on my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, all that jazz is down below as always, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you next time. Bye!